Hello LEGO fans, Bricks Unbound here with another Building Hogwarts update. And this update is special for a couple of reasons. First off, it's update number 40, which means that we're going to be doing a overview video of the progress on Hogwarts so far, instead of looking at just a specific section of building that's been worked on recently. And also, this video is coming out on September 1st, 2020 which marks two years since I started this project. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything that's been happening. So my figure here is sitting on the viaduct bridge that connects the entrance courtyard to the east wing of Hogwarts. I've seen lots of different names for it. Viaduct entrance hall also. Uh, but we'll just take a quick walk around first. So. We've got the Great Hall over here. Uh, yes, I know there are gonna be a few spots where there are gaps in the building. They'll be here. You can see one over there. That's because, unfortunately, my tables are not 100% even. I need to uh, get that fixed, but it makes it so uh, there's a slight tilt forward on this, sec this front section, so bear with me on that. Uh, this here is just the boathouse. I might have to make it smaller eventually. This isn't, of course, the actual location of the boathouse, but it's part of Hogwarts that's been built. I have a separate video looking at the full interior and everything of that. Same thing for the Great Hall. And here's a view that I like looking at going down just the full length of the tables where you can see the two bell towers way down at the end there. Obviously there's plenty of other towers and spires missing right now, but uh, it's all a work in progress. Have plans, of course, for all of it. Backside of the Great Hall, nothing too exciting yet. I am missing the chimney here. There's a spot there for it. I just need to build it. I just keep getting distracted by other things. Again, another gap here that will be fixed eventually. Uh, over here is part of the quad. Ran out of table, so it has stopped here uh, for the moment, but it was to figure out height on this larger grand staircase tower here, which does have the start of an interior that's been in that uh, condition for potentially even a year now, but quite some time. Uh, whenever this gets built up, this will be where the challenges from the end of the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone take place. So here's Fluffy in the third floor, and then I'll have uh, uh, doors that swing open on this, kind of like what I have on the front of the quad. Uh, so then you can see the action inside without having to take off all the floors. So that is that semi-custom built Fluffy that I based off of uh, a build in one of the LEGO Harry Potter books. Um, and then just added some other touches to it. Quad courtyard, not even close to finished. Uh, this is the spot I've been working on most recently. You can check out recent updates for, again, the details here. but. Haven't actually looked through here to see what you can see. Yes, the bridge is obviously way too high up. I need to elevate everything on rock work still, but it's coming along. It's kind of fun though to see the minifig eye view looking through here. Plenty of space for more rooms here. Not entirely sure what's gonna go there. Potentially some other bathrooms or something since there's a lot of action that takes place in bathrooms in Harry Potter. Interesting, <laughs> you got the stone bridge going across here. Uh, eventually there will be a, I think it's like a suspension bridge, rope bridge, chain bridge, something like that, that goes between here and then the section of the castle in this area. This is just a random tree. It's not its final location. It's probably not even its final build. But there you have it. This side of the viaduct entrance is very unfinished. This is going to be the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom in here. I was thinking trophy room down at the other end, but it might end up becoming like a Moaning Myrtle's bathroom or something, too. Now, I'm not planning on doing a whole lot of interior shots for this particular video, but since that was easily accessible, decided to go ahead. And here I'm missing a table, so I just have not been able to make more progress on this section. The build sitting here, I was figuring out the rough width of what the Ravenclaw Tower will be that's where I'm going to put it at least, because there is a larger tower that sits above 
here and goes way up. It is taller than the two bell towers down here. You can also see into the library from this angle. Um, this will extend across and keep coming this direction as I get this, the rest of this built. I just need to get another table and cannot currently do that with the, the existing state of the world at the moment. So I'm really looking forward to getting that section built. And then I should, I think, still have room to put the astronomy tower here as well before I run out of tables. I'm really looking forward to building that. I just have to make sure that I have it positioned in such a way that it doesn't hit this part of the ceiling, that it goes up uh, over here. Because the astronomy tower is the tallest uh, tower of Hogwarts, at least it's supposed to be. It is in the books. Um, so it will have to be taller than the Grand Staircase Tower down there, which is currently maybe half height. Probably not even. <laughs> so lots of progress. Uh, to be done. This courtyard down here also I have to get on our table first. I've been messing around with the designs. Uh, the design on the left here matches the design currently around the entrance courtyard. Design on the right is one and now I can't remember who it was but I saw it on Instagram. You can check out my Instagram page and find the picture of this which will lead you to the builder of a design similar to that. I think their design was was this. Um, I had to widen it up just a bit to get it to fill up the spacing correctly. But there'll be the courtyard here with the big tree and everything where Malfoy gets turned into the ferret, of course. And this section here is the long gallery. It's where I'm sticking the classrooms. Uh, well, most of the classrooms. Potions will be underground somewhere. <laughs> I need to get rock work built to do that. But this has, uh, this is the back side of the Transfiguration classroom. The section beside it is currently empty. Coral is just kind of hanging there. Uh, so I need to figure out exactly what I want to put there. Charms classroom is currently through that door underneath the library. And these are really hard to see once you get, when you first come into the room. But I am extremely happy still with how the bell towers are working. Yes, there's a giant gaping hole here that needs to be filled in. Uh, but I'm just super happy still, whenever I look at this, with the amount of detail I was able to get into it. It just worked out really well. <laughs> uh, it was one of the first few sections of Hogwarts I worked on, and I think it still holds up uh, pretty well compared to the rest of it. As we come along the side here, this is where greenhouses go, is around this end of Hogwarts. I'm knocking many figs off the wall behind me here. Uh, so I have, well, some random people in front, but I have some of the uh, characters set up in their herbology attire, so they are ready to go whenever the greenhouses get built, which who knows, it might be sooner rather than later now that we're getting a Professor Sprout minifig in the uh, series two of Collectible Minifigures for Harry Potter. Here's the exterior of the library. It looks all right. <laughs> I'm not 100% happy with it. I think it looks okay. This arch just isn't quite right, but I couldn't come up with a better way to make such a huge window uh, for the moment. I might, eh, I don't know, because I like it where you can't see inside through it. So I like using these uh, window frames and inserts. And you can still see through, kind of, since there's nothing on the other side. Uh, but, so that might get reworked eventually someday, but for now, I'm pretty happy with it. We do need to do a little bit of reworking here to actually get this to all be one roof section connected. These towers down here obviously are missing their roofs as well. I have gotten in some of the flexible tubing though. Uh, my plan is, as you can kind of see here, is to take that flexible tubing, bend it around in circles, and use clips to attach a bunch of tiles. I'm thinking one by two tiles instead of two by two. It's gonna take thousands of <laughs> those, uh, but I've seen that worked to good effect before to make uh, turrets for castles. Uh, not 100% sure that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try it out at least uh, on a couple of these towers here to see what I think about it before I try to tackle 
the huge uh, sloped roof that will be on top of the Grand Staircase Tower. And this bridge I'll just shove out of the way here. Here's the entrance to the viaduct uh, entrance hall, <laughs> or the east wing. I pulled off these doors uh, for a different section of the castle that was harder to get to. Um, so I'll, I'll get some more doors in to fill that up. I think the front of this, uh, for these two main pillars, I'm going to, this is going to be real annoying to rebuild it again, but uh, extend those out one or maybe even two more studs, because uh, then I can get um, all of this other stuff to fit better, because right now these little turrets are over the tops of this, which is not really how I want it to be, but I still think it it is coming along nicely. Interior-wise, like I said, Defense Kids Dark Arts on the second floor there. First floor, uh, one side will be the staff room. I'm not sure what I'm going to put. On the other side, at one point I've been thinking of doing the troll bathroom. But of course that is on the lower floor here. And that really brings us all the way around the castle. Uh, so I, I hope you've enjoyed this overview video. Um, as far as what is still to come, <laughs> obviously, lots, 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 lots. This is, I don't know, maybe half the castle, not even half the castle, <laughs> which is a little terrifying because I am out of space. So what I'm planning on doing for now is getting as much of this section, the front half of Hogwarts built up as I can, uh, getting it as close to completed status, um, and then... I'll probably hmm, have to do some rearranging to build out, continuing that way. Because I still want to build the full castle. Uh, it'll be hard to get it on display. I might have to find a different room to set it up on the floor if I want it all shown at the same time, which of course I will eventually. Um, someday I'd like to be able to take it to convention too. It is getting to the size where it's going to be real hard to find a large enough vehicle to take the whole thing in. but. We'll worry about that when it comes to it, once conventions are actually a thing that's happening again. But yeah, two years of progress on this. Uh, in some ways that seems like I should have more done. Sometimes I'm just like, you know, this is a pretty good project. I'm trying to go at my own pace here to not just get burned out on it. And then if I order things from LEGO specifically, uh, it takes a month plus um, now to get the parts in so I try to do some planning ahead but sometimes I'm just like hey you know what I want to work on I want to work on this section of the castle oh shoot I don't really have the parts I need so progress will continue to be made and I will show it to you as it is made as far as uh, frequent questions I get about it uh, one is how many pieces I have no idea um, to give you a, a general estimate, I guess, or at least an idea. Uh, so one ring, what, so one brick high around this tower has 72 pieces. Currently it is, I think, 54 or 55 bricks high. So it's just this section here, we're looking at about 4,000 pieces. That's just the exterior. There are full interiors on the Great Hall, the kitchens beneath it, Trolls bathroom, Transfiguration classroom, library, Charms classroom, plenty more full interiors coming. So, it's just that section there with no interior is 4,000 pieces. Um, <laughs> there's a crazy huge amount, especially for the smaller towers that have uh, lots of little pieces, like the bell towers down there. Um, so, we're definitely in the tens of thousands of pieces right now, uh, with many, many more to come. And I think that's going to do it for this video. Please keep coming back for more. Not entirely sure what my next section I'm going to be working on is. I have ordered a bunch more parts for the tower. Uh, so getting that up, 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 up to greater heights. Uh, and then I'm hoping that I can make a IKEA run eventually to get the other tables so that I can work on the Transfiguration Courtyard and Astronomy Tower back in this section. Thank you for watching the video. Please come back for more and let me know what you think.
down in the comments. Thank you for watching.